Change is a natural part of life, and even though the world is always evolving, some people just don't seem to go with the flow. This can be pretty frustrating for them and the people around them. To figure out why some folks are stuck in their ways, let's dive into the wisdom of Buddhism. This spiritual tradition has some deep insights into why people resist change and how we can help them transform. At the heart of Buddhism is this idea called impermanence. It's like saying everything in life is always changing. The Buddha, the main person in Buddhism, showed us this in his own life story. He was born into a life of luxury, living the good life, but he left it all behind to discover the real deal about life. He saw suffering, old age, sickness, and death, and it made him realize that the fun stuff in life doesn't last forever. This big realization led him to become enlightened under a Bodhi tree. So, the key thing Buddhism teaches us is that nothing stays the same. Everything is always shifting. Understanding this can help us figure out why some people struggle to change. Maybe they're holding on to this idea that things will stay the same forever. And that's not how life works. Now let's talk about attachment. Buddhism says that if we get too attached to things, like our beliefs, habits, or the past, we're setting ourselves up for suffering. The Buddha once said, you only lose what you cling to. It's like holding on too tight to something that's not meant to last. Some people get attached to being right, their stuff, their relationships, or what happened in the past. These attachments create this rigid framework that stops them from growing. To really change, you gotta let go of these attachments and understand that freedom comes from not holding on so tight. Then there's this thing called the ego. It's like a fake version of ourselves based on what we're attached to. The ego tells us that we are who we were in the past or what we've achieved. But Buddhism teaches us that our true selves are way more than that. It's about realizing that we're more than just our past or what we own. This can make it tough for some people to change because they're scared of losing who they think they are. Buddhism calls this the doctrine of non-self, suggesting that our real selves go beyond these limits. Now let's talk karma. It's like a big law saying that our actions have consequences, shaping what happens to us. If some people don't want to change, it might be because of the patterns they've created with their actions in the past. Good actions lead to good things, and bad actions lead to suffering. Those who don't want to change might be stuck in a cycle of bad actions from the past affecting their present. By understanding karma, people can take responsibility for their actions and work towards positive change. Buddhism also tells us about finding the middle path. It's like saying, hey, you need a balance between change and stability. Too much change can be too much to handle. Imagine a flower that doesn't reject any bee, even the little ones. People who resist change might be trying to keep things stable in their lives because they see change as a threat. Buddhism offers this guide called the Eightfold Path, which is like a balanced way to live. It helps you mix in both change and stability. Understanding this middle path can help people deal with change better. Compassion and understanding are also big deals in Buddhism. It says, our lives are shaped by our minds. We become what we think. If you want to inspire change in someone who's not into it, being compassionate and understanding is key. There's this concept called the Bodhisattva Ideal, where you dedicate your life to helping others become enlightened. So, when dealing with people who resist change, it's better to be understanding and compassionate instead of pushing them too hard. Create a safe space for them to change at their own pace. Now, mindfulness is like the secret sauce to personal transformation. It's all about being fully aware of what's going on in your head. When people are stuck in their ways, it's often because they're not really aware of what they're thinking or feeling. Mindfulness, through practices like meditation, helps you see into your mind. It's the first step to breaking free from old habits and welcoming change. Non-judgment is another cool thing Buddhism talks about. Conquer anger by love, evil by good. 
Conquer the stingy by giving, the liar by truth. Judgment and criticism can get in the way of personal transformation. If you want someone to change, being non-judgmental creates an environment where they feel safe to explore change without worrying about being criticized. Buddhism also talks about the eight worldly winds, which are like life's ups and downs. There's gain and loss, pleasure and pain, praise and blame, and fame and disrepute. Recognizing that life has both good and bad moments can help us understand why some people hold on to what's familiar. Change can be scary because it brings uncertainty, and some people really like the good stuff in life. Accepting that challenges are part of being human is a step towards change. The ultimate goal in Buddhism is liberation from suffering, also known as nirvana. To inspire change, people need to accept that suffering is part of life. By embracing the Four Noble Truths and following the Eightfold Path, individuals can find the courage to face suffering and start changing. All right, so we've covered a lot about why some people resist change, drawing wisdom from Buddhism. Now let's switch gears and talk about practical stuff. How can individuals actually overcome their resistance to change? The first step is self-awareness. Mindfulness practices like meditation can help you become aware of your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. This awareness is like a flashlight that helps you see why you're resisting change in the first place. Letting go of attachments is the next big thing. Maybe you're holding on to the idea that things have to turn out a certain way or that your past defines you. Buddhism says, hey, these attachments are temporary. Let them go. Self-reflection is essential, but do it with self-compassion. Don't be too hard on yourself. Change takes time. Breaking down the path to change into small steps is like setting mini goals. It makes the journey less overwhelming and more manageable. Change is easier with support, so build a network of people who encourage and guide you. In Buddhism, they have spiritual communities called Sanghas, which offer support in your spiritual journey. Having a mentor or teacher can also be super helpful in navigating the challenges of change. Expressing gratitude is like a superpower that shifts your focus from what's missing to what you have. Change can be scary, but instead of fearing the unknown, Buddhism teaches us to embrace it as an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. Now, when you want to inspire change in others, the bodhisattva ideal can be a guide. It's like saying, I'm here to help others become their best selves. Be the change you want to see. When people see positive transformation in you, it can motivate them to change too. Be a good listener. Let them express themselves without judgment and show empathy for their struggles. Create a safe space for them to explore change at their own pace. Offer guidance and support without pushing too hard. Share your own insights, but let them make their own choices. Celebrate their progress no matter how small, and help them see the positive outcomes change can bring. Sometimes change takes time, so be patient and persistent in your support. Change isn't just about individuals, it's about society too. Buddhism teaches us that compassion and interdependence are key to inspiring collective transformation. Engage in activities that promote positive change, whether it's volunteering, advocating, or supporting organizations working for the greater good. Communicate with openness and non-judgment, working towards common goals. Education is a catalyst for change. By promoting awareness about social issues, individuals and communities can take action. Embracing diversity and inclusivity is vital for societal change. Recognizing the value of different perspectives leads to more equitable and just societies. So, there you have it. We've explored why some people resist change through the lens of Buddhism and then divide into practical strategies to overcome that resistance. Change is not only possible but essential for growth and enlightenment. By understanding the principles of Buddhism and applying them in our lives, we can inspire change in ourselves and others. As we embrace impermanence, let go of attachments, and find the middle path. 
we overcome resistance to change and step onto a path of personal growth. The Bodhisattva ideal guides us in inspiring change in those around us, and the principles of Buddhism offer a framework for fostering collective transformation. Let the wisdom of Buddhism be a guiding light on your journey towards personal and collective change. In the words of the Buddha, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. So, let's think of change, embrace it, and become beings of growth, compassion, and wisdom. May the teachings of Buddhism inspire us on this transformative journey, leading us to a brighter, more enlightened future for all. Understanding why some people resist change is only the beginning of a transformative journey. It's essential to recognize that change, while intrinsic to life, can be daunting and challenging. To facilitate. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it inspiring and informative. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you won't miss our next video.